Hello. In the last few months, I started to implement this system called the 12 week year, and it has completely transformed my life. And I'm going to be going over how it can, you can use it to help you start your cybersecurity career within the next 12 weeks. I've always had a problem sticking with things and with endless procrastination. I have learned that if you are procrastinating, it's most likely because you lack clarity. And so that is where the concept and system that I'm going to go over the 12 week year comes in. If you want an interactive part of this, I do have a free in-depth email course below that you can check out. The first step in this 12 week year book is number one, you need a personal vision. It seems very obvious, but what exactly are your goals for every part of your life? Health wise, spirituality, family, income. But you really want to spend a lot of time on this. And that was the missing piece in my life. I didn't have a personal vision. And so everything I was doing was just more based on tactics. Oh, I'm going to exercise, but I didn't really have a goal in mind of why I was exercising or why I wanted to exercise. It was just something you should do. So I never actually stuck with it because it wasn't related to my personal vision. Make sure to really define exactly what you want because this is going to determine everything else. It's going to determine what goals you pursue, the journey that you will take. And so you really want to like that journey and not end up somewhere that you hate, which is what most people do. They wake up at 40 and realize that they really hate their life. That goes into step two, which is now you're going to want to create a personal plan. Now, this personal plan is going to be based on your personal vision. Don't create a plan without a personal vision as it's just a complete waste of time and you might just end up somewhere that you absolutely despise. There are three main horizons that you're going to want to focus on. Long-term, mid-term, and then 12 weeks. So long-term is you're going to put what is most important to you in the long term over three years, spiritually, mentally, relationally, professionally, and personally. Make sure that you define all of these. This is all about how to get into cybersecurity. So I'm going to focus mostly on the professional goal here, but don't forget the other ones. Maybe your long-term goal is you want to make $500,000 as a CISO. But there are also goals to get to that large goal. So there are midterm goals. This is what do you want in the next three years? Maybe that's just to break into cybersecurity in advance and then get to that six figure mark really quickly. Then there are 12 week years. This is different than annual thinking, which is 12 months. This is just 12 weeks. What can you do in the next 12 weeks that supports these mid and long term goals? For this example, if you are wanting to get into cybersecurity, you're probably going to want to get the CompTIA Security Plus and probably do some personal projects. So in the next 12 weeks, it's very doable to get the CompTIA Security Plus and also to do one personal project that you then document. And so those are your two goals in the next 12 weeks to do. When you are creating this plan to get into cybersecurity, there has to be an emotional connection to your goal because if there isn't, you're not going to implement or succeed. You could watch all the productivity videos in the world, but if there's not that emotional connection, you're most likely going to quit once you have this personal plan, so in the next 12 weeks, your goal is that you are going to get the CompTIA Security Plus and you're going to do a personal project and document it. So those are your two goals in the next 12 weeks. Completely doable. After you have the, your plan set out in your 12 week goals, now you're going to step three, you're going to choose those tactics. So for instance, now that you've determined that you want to pass the CompTIA Security Plus, this is when you go and you find your resources, go on Reddit, what have other people done to pass the Security Plus? What are some good courses that people have gone through? How do I even buy a voucher? What types of practice tests may you need? Bozen is really good. Udemy has some really great Security Plus courses. There's also really good reference books. Uh, the Google Cybersecurity Certificate is also a really good prepper. And at the end of that, you do get a voucher for 30% off. That is also a really good course to take. Now that you have all of the tactical things that you're going to want to achieve this goal, 
which is related to your personal vision, you go on to step four, which is you create a weekly plan. Long-term results are about the actions that you take today. Study consistently over a period of time to get to that goal. And this allows you to organize and focus your week. And since doing this, it has completely just helped me out because now it's just a ton of fun. This is not a to-do list, but more of strategic lists of activities that you do to support your long-term vision. For instance, you want to get into cybersecurity. So if you're wanting to get into cybersecurity, self-study is really important. Even when you have a job, the learning never ends. Getting into this habit now will help you out. Because your goal is CompTIA Security Plus in the next 12 weeks, it, it would be watch two to three hours four times a week. So the frequency of this Security Plus course that I'm going through. Or do 20 practice questions three times a week and really learn what is involved. And so that would be your week one. And I find this really good, especially choosing the frequency and the amount of times that you're going to do it during the week. What I have found before is that I would say, oh, I want to get this certification. And then I didn't have any plan around it. I didn't really know what resources I was using. I just wanted to get this certificate. And then I would always feel bad for not doing it. So my mind was always going, oh, I need to do this every single day of the week. And I could just be walking in the park and I would just feel bad about not studying for this cloud security certificate. But since implementing this, now I just do what I created in the weekly plan. So if it says study for two to three hours for this certificate or watch this course for two to three hours, three times a week, once I reach that three times a week for two to three hours, I'm free. I don't feel bad. I can just enjoy my life. I don't think I need to be constantly studying all the time. And it's really just freed up a lot of mental resources. And I've been much more productive. That leads me to the last part of this is step five, score keeping and confronting the truth. So when you're trying to get into cybersecurity, I have found people just have this really broad goal of getting into cybersecurity, but they don't really track their progress. And the most fun thing you can do in any game is track the progress. Most goals fail, not because they don't have proper strategy, but because they fail to execute. Most people have an execution problem and procrastinate. So you need an effective way to capture what exactly you're doing. And it, that gives you feedback if you're on the right path or not. If you never documented any of it, you're not going to have any feedback and you're not going to have any idea what works and what doesn't. And you're going to waste years and years of your life and then wake up at 40 realizing you absolutely hate where you are because you never took the time to do this 12-week year plan. What I do is I keep a weekly scorecard in my Notion template if we look over here. And what I do is when I complete the task, I go and I check it off. And then I just don't think about it anymore. And I have found this to be so motivating because I can see all my progress. I can see... If I'm executing correctly, sometimes you just have a blind eye to maybe that pizza that you ate, but you just seemingly forgot about. And then the best way to ensure execution is to evaluate the percentage of tactics completed. In this Notion template that I'm using, as you can see, I just do the little check marks and then it, it'll show me the percentage. If you have this plan and you're not executing, you can 100% know that you're not going to reach your goal. You're not going to pass the CompTIA Security Plus if you're not studying for it and putting that energy into it. You don't need to read another book. You don't need to watch another YouTube video unless it's in support of your goal. You don't need to go to any how to get into cybersecurity conferences. You need to execute on your plan, essentially. Hopefully you have the right plan. If you're interested in starting your career in cybersecurity, I do have a completely free in-depth nine lesson course, email course below for getting started in your cybersecurity career and creating a plan that will get you there. So make sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next video.